Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We did the video on Win2VNC. We talked about Synergy. We couldn't get it to work on Windows Vista. No surprises there. Uh, I made reference to a program called Teleport. And instead of trying to explain it to you, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. I've got two completely separate machines here. Uh, they are on the same, uh, well, I guess, switch, on the same network. And what I'm going to do, I've got this program Teleport Freeware for the Mac running on both of these machines. I've already paired one with the other, and you'll see why it's important in just a second. Uh, here I've got my keyboard and wireless Mighty Mouse for Big Mac, the uh, Mac Pro. And of course, obviously, here is a MacBook Pro. So as I'm moving this window around over here with the touchpad, watch, watch what happens when I do this. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. It gets better. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in here. On, on, oh, let me come back over to this screen. I'm going to zoom in into this top corner here and show you that there's there's no files sitting here, right? Okay, okay, watch. We're going to drag and drop. Look at that. Do you see that file? I just dragged and dropped the file from this computer to this computer. I'm telling you guys, these computers are not connected in any way other than through a network. It is like a virtual KVM switch. You can drag and drop files back and forth between the Macs that are connected over Teleport. You can very easily maneuver the mouse cursor and keyboard control. So here I'm going to go over here and I'm going to, I better, hmm, how can I do this? Let me zoom in over here with this just to, just to illustrate it. Up at the top of the screen it says controlled by Icarus. That's the name of this computer, Icarus. And it's saying that right now, the mouse cursor in Icarus has got full control over the screen. Moreover, if I move it over here to Monocle, press down, oh, I search for Teleport Perillo. Uh, let's type in, what do we want to look for? Mm, Weird Al Yankovic. I'm telling you, dude, this is like, it's not connected to anything. Look, there's nothing here. This is not a, a hack, it's free software. More importantly, this is where it gets really cool. Uh, let me scroll out, or zoom out here. Throw my mouse back over here. And show you my multi-clipboard tool, jump cut. And you'll see I have uh, a few URLs in here. The first URL on my clipboard is going off to visualware.com. Oops, got all sorts of programs running up. There's the teleport icon, by the way. Uh, there's my multiple clipboard, Flickr, Newegg, blah, blah, blah. But the latest entry in here is uh, at visualware.com. What I'm going to do is this. going to zoom out again. By the way, it's control and scroll, or control and two fingers on the touchpad or scroll wheel. We're going to slide it back over to the other screen. Go to monocle. We're going to, let's go, let's zoom it up. Believe me, this, this is cool, trust me. Uh, then on this keyboard, we're gonna do a command X. So we just cut that text. Now, when I move that mouse back over to this screen here, not a trick at all. Look at the number one, look at the number one keyboard uh, clipboard. It transferred the clipboard text. Not only can you move your mouse back and forth seamlessly between all the connected machines? Not only can you drag and drop files back and forth between the machines, desktop to desktop, folder to folder, but you can share your clipboards too. And you know what? Anybody can do it. I mean, it, it takes virtually nothing to set up a configure. Look, I mean, let me. You want? You want to? See? And I mean, I can do the same the same thing on this computer too. I can uh, zoom out, and I can. So here's where's my mouse? It's over on that screen. So I can go over here with this mouse, the Mighty Mouse, and move Windows around without touching the touchpad. I mean, this, I'm telling you, this, it's fun and easy. Okay, so how easy is it? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to zoom in again and just show you. Uh, I've got a couple options here on the Teleport Preference pane. Activate Teleport, that turns it on. And share this Mac if I want uh, another Teleport point to control it. That's it! Seriously, that's it. Uh, then, of course, I've got the layout, and this is important because it lets you know 
where uh, each particular computer sits. In fact, look at this. It even picked up the wallpaper for Icebox. That's the network name for the Big Mac computer. So it picked that up, and I said the Icebox is sitting over here, whereas Icarus, which had no wallpaper at the time that I, that I did this, is sitting here. Then, over here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. I won't be able to show you. Over here, it'll tell you if someone else is controlling, another computer's controlling that screen, not only will we show you up here in the menu bar, but it'll also show you in the middle of the screen. So it makes you very aware about what's going on. There are also uh, various security options you can set, including encryption with certificates, a control requests, asking, rejecting, or automatically accepting. And then, of course, it's got a, a few other options, including switching only if a key is down, switching with a delay, switch when double tapping, try to wake sleeping max, drag and drop files, you can turn that on here, or the pasteboard, uh, show status in menu bar, show bezel when controlling shared Mac, that's the thing in the middle of the screen, and then auto check version at login. Uh, very easy, very convenient, very free. If you have Where's Indigo? Did, did you see Indigo somewhere? Where did you see Indigo? Indigo is the other MacBook that I have. I named it Indigo. All my Macs start with an I. All the XP machines, words begin with an X, and all the Vista machines begin with a V. Kind of, that's how I name computers. Kind of neat, I thought. Anyway, I know it's kind of geeky. Uh, well, it was either that or, you know, Charlie Brown characters or other things in the universe that would be half as obscure as that. Uh, teleport is the name of this. It is free. And like I said, it's, it's supremely easy to use. You can't drag and drop windows between computers. I mean, you just can't. It'd be neat if you could, uh, but you can't. Uh, but you can move your mouse back and forth between one computer and another. And then, of course, re you know, you know, basically take control of the keyboard, or this keyboard becomes that computer's keyboard, and that mouse becomes... It's just so much fun. Try it. So if you have Windows, uh, the equivalent to this, although it's not as full featured, you can at least put your keyboard and mouse on a second screen, a second computer, win to BNC. I could never get Synergy running. Uh, of course, if you are a, a Mac house, teleport, three thumbs up. And unfortunately, my other thumb is in the shop. It's getting uh, Windows Vista Service Pack 1 uninstalled. Apparently, the drivers weren't ready for it. Yes, Win2 VNC. There are a couple versions of Win2 VNC, by the way. Uh, there's uh, the older one and the newer one, and I, I, I've got to dig up the newer URL. KTech in the chat room knows which one, so if I don't get the right link, he'll, he'll let you know. Anyway, my email address is chris at perillo.com. If you've got any other networking tools, tips, tweaks, no matter what the operating system happens to be, I'm a geek. Okay, that's the bottom line. I love software, especially software that does, does, that, that does cool things like that, even if I can't speak. doesn't make me any less of a geek. Actually, it does. But what are you going to do? My email address again, chris at perillo.com. You're also welcome to swing by the chat room where we're typically talking about tech in general, software, hardware, the internet, pancakes? I don't know. You never really know what's going to happen, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to stop by live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.